Hello, my name is uh, Robert Graafland. Welcome to our incubator, the HAPC Research and Development Center in the north of the Netherlands, where we develop all our varieties and a lot of knowledge to support them throughout the world. So normally in breeding you would start with crossing, but these days we start looking at DNA and looking at a lot of data. Uh, and to have a good insight on that, we need to go to our bioinformatics department and that is situated at the campus of the Wageningen University. Hi, welcome in Wageningen. My name is Ram Korsem. I'm a program leader of bioinformatics at HCPC Research. Here in Wageningen, on the Wageningen University campus, we have our Wageningen office. Wageningen University is the highest ranked agriculture university in the world. This is our office. This is where part of the uh, bioinformatics group does data analysis. We try to uh, cooperate with other companies and uh, research groups here on uh, Wageningen campus. We're trying to unravel potato genetics, mainly by doing DNA sequence data analysis. And together with the uh, research teams in Metzelevier, we try to make data-driven breeding possible. So that's all for Wageningen. Let's now go back to Metzelevier. Welcome back at the HRPC Research and Development Station. So we have now seen the DNA, we have touched data, and that enables us all to make the right combination of crossing parents to develop the breeding program. We are now in the crossing greenhouse, where we stack all the desires of our customers, of our growers by crossing, and stacking the traits uh, to build the sustainable future-proof varieties. These plants that we have here come from the seeds after crossing. We isolate DNA and on that DNA we can select the tiny pieces that resemble the resistances to build sustainable varieties. In this way we select only 15% and saturate the breeding volume and that's the start of a saturated breeding program to meet our customer, client and global demands. So we have just seen the tiny plants at uh, our LED system. From there we sample the plants for DNA and with the molecular markers we check if all those plants have the stacked resistance genes to build the sustainable varieties. And with that we can select for a highly saturated volume as a start of our breeding program to work towards sustainable varieties for all our market segments. So once we have built that variety as a great variety candidate towards our customers and the market, we bring them in vitro and that means in tissue culture, certified material, clean plants as starting material for mini tubers. Mini tubers are the start for our sea potato growers, the start of vital sea potato production. So when we have finally built all the genetics into a variety, it's also good to bring that potential to high level. For that, we talk about vital sea potatoes. In this piece of research, we can measure all kinds of biochemical elements and connect them to the vitality of the sea potato. So this is a snapshot through our R&D work. From here, we work on the availability of sustainable food for billions of people worldwide. And I would say back to the studio.